Hey everyone. Well, today I wanted to share with you a new uh, piece of gear that I got uh, in the mail about a week and a half ago that isn't quite out yet, uh, but I'm really excited to uh, share the details with you. I first saw this product back in Photo Plus uh, in New York City at the end of October, so about a month ago, and it is the uh, Think Tank Perception Pro. Uh, this is the newest line from Think Tank's uh, bag family. This is the taupe color. It also comes in their uh, more traditional black. But um, before we get into more details about the Perception Pro, um, again, the Perception line comes in three different sizes, two colors, uh, black and taupe. And the Pro is the largest of the three. Now, why I'm really excited about the Perception Pro is because uh, this bag was built with uh, mirrorless cameras in mind, uh, especially the Sony A7 family, which is what I use. So before we go to the bag, let's take a look typically on a, on a typical day shoot, just kind of, you know, I need to pack gear because I want to go out and shoot quickly, uh, what I take with me. So first, of course, uh, I've got my Sony uh, A7R, uh, which is my default landscape camera. I also try to take a secondary body just in case. Uh, in this case, it's the Sony A6000, which is just a tremendous handheld camera, uh, fast autofocusing. It's excellent. Then uh, three lenses that I take with me, kind of my trinity. The first is the brand new uh, Sony Zeiss 16 to 35, which is just a, a really, really wonderful lens uh, for the ultra wide shooting. Uh, next up is kind of the utility player, the Zeiss 24 to 70, um, also uh, in the FE mount, so it's native to the uh, full frame A7 body series. And then finally, to get some more uh, reach, I've got the Sony FE 70 to 200 F4, uh, which is you know my default telephoto lens uh, that I take with me. There are also some accessories that I take with me. First is a pocket full of. Uh, of SD cards because you just never know. Then there is a pocket full of batteries because uh, you know the cameras do uh, suck batteries pretty quickly and really fortunately both the A7R, um, all the A7 lines and the A6000 share the same battery so I don't have to carry multiple types. Uh, I also take my Really Right Stuff MTX multi-tool so this is super important uh, in case my tripod leg gets loose or just something needs to be tightened down. Uh, this has a bunch of different bits that allow me to tighten everything. Um, of course, my Sony uh, remote cable. I don't really trust uh, wireless options yet, although Sony is coming out with a wireless remote equivalent to this, uh, I think in December. So I've got that on pre-order. We'll see how that goes. My CSLR camera strap. I don't really use camera straps too much, or too often rather, but when I do, uh, I like to have one with me. And finally, um, I try to always uh, go with technology, so I, uh, I have my uh, Apple iPad Air 2, uh, and I have my 13-inch MacBook Pro Retina, which is um, my personal primary computer uh, when I'm traveling. I use a, a Mac Pro here, a current generation Mac Pro. Uh, for my uh, main primary photo editing when I'm at home. So all of the stuff needs to fit into a bag that is uh, comfortable and uh, you know still has room for, for more things in case I need to grab something. So again, uh, the Perception Pro, really nice camera bag. You can kind of see um, what I love most about this, let me first close the laptop pocket, um, is the... When you open up the bag, it's got these wings. So the wings kind of prevent uh, the outer shell from opening up and spilling out. Uh, I really love this. I don't recall seeing this on a bag. Um, so it, it's really impressive. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five different uh, compression pockets. And the pockets are lined with this kind of uh, felt material. So it's really nice, probably. Um, not very scratch resistant, uh, or minimizes scratches rather. But what's also cool is that um, on the inside shell, hopefully you can see this, um, it, just a bunch of different pockets, like tons of pockets here, um, which is really awesome. I also really like this taupe color, um, primarily because it's just easier to see. Uh, 
especially when you're out in the field. And on the inside too, it's really nice and bright. So if you're looking for something, uh, it's just easier to spot. So we'll go ahead here and we'll just actually start packing things up. So I usually start from the bottom up with bags, um, mostly because uh, it just is easier to access the pockets. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, 7200 first because it's my largest lens. And I'm just gonna put it in the bottom pocket here. And when I fit the gear in, you'll notice that there are these kind of compression straps. So I just kind of tighten that up. And so now you can kind of see the lenses right over here, which is great. It's really nice and snug. And then it leaves actually two more pockets on the bottom for uh, more gear. Now, the other two cameras that I'll take with me, I usually mount lenses on right away. So um, before we do anything, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna take on the A6000, I'll put the 24 to 70 lens on. So the A6000 is a crop sensor. So I'll just get effectively a little bit longer uh, focal range. And then on the A7R, because it's a full frame sensor, I wanna make sure I get uh, maximum wide angle. So I'll just put the 16 to 35 on. Okay, so uh, the lens caps here, I'll put off to the side for a second. Uh, I've got both cameras. And so let me just get my bag back. And with the lens mounted, I'll put the A7. Uh, there's kind of a larger pocket and I'll just kind of wrap it around. And then when I got it in there, I will snug that in. And then the same thing with the A6000, it's a smaller body. So it's uh, easier to uh, fit into that left pocket and I'll make it kind of like that. And so you can kind of see here. Here are the two cameras with the lenses on, uh, fitting really nicely. And then I, again, I have room for more uh, lenses if I need it. So what I'll do now is take the uh, CSLR strap. I'll just put that in this pocket over here on the bottom. Mostly because I don't really use, uh, like I said, camera straps too often. Um, and then when I'm done with that, what I'll do is I will uh, go ahead and take those lens caps that I discarded just a second ago, and I'll just put them in this inner pocket here. So what I did was I basically just, um, there's this zippered pocket here, and I put the uh, lens caps in there. Now, I typically need the uh, remote so um, I'm gonna save that towards the end. Uh, we've got still the battery pouch and the SD cards. So with the main compartment here, I'm pretty much done. So I'm just gonna zip these up. The zippers move really smoothly, which is nice. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead on the top pocket here. So we actually have on the outside shell, there are three um, primary pockets. There's this top pocket, there's a center pocket, and then there's a bottom pocket. Uh, the bottom part pocket is technically, there's a little icon here. You, you can put your uh, tripod legs in. Uh, and basically, uh, if you want, there is a, uh, up here, there's this really nifty kind of hidden uh, tripod strap. So you can kind of slide your tripod in um, and then put the legs in here. Uh, it, when I'm traveling around uh, during the day, uh, usually just using that top strap is enough for me. So, but I love that it's kind of hidden here and there's a little bit of a Velcro to keep uh, the strap in. Um, but instead of using this pocket for the tripod legs, I actually put what I love most about uh, Think Tank's products is they always include a rain bag or a rain fly for the bag. So this is specifically for the Perception Pro. Um, just really nice that they don't actually make you have to buy another accessory uh, when you've already spent a decent amount of coin on the bag. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, put the remaining accessories in. Uh, I'll open up this middle pocket, which is the larger of the pockets, and I'm gonna put the battery packs in here, as well as the uh, SD card uh, wallet. And then I'm gonna go to the top pocket here, which is kind of very easily accessible. I'll put the remote cable in and the uh, Really Right Stuff MTX multi-tool. So pretty much all the gear is set here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is open up the laptop slot. So the laptop slot has actually two pockets. Um, if you can kind of see here, uh, this bottom pocket is 
uh, four tablets. It's actually shallower than the laptop uh, slot itself. Uh, the lap it's a padded pocket, so that's really nice. And so you can see if I take my iPad and I just kind of put it in there, uh, it's easy to get. It doesn't fall all the way to the bottom, which is uh, really nice. And then the last piece of gear is going to be the laptop, which just slides right in there. And we have everything packed up. Now, uh, just a few quick points. Uh, the, the back is, is really nice. It's got a, a nice kind of foam padding. It has an extra foam at the uh, lumbar area. It also has a chest strap, which is adjustable in height, so you can kind of actually take uh, the strap area and adjust it up or down, uh, depending on what works for you. It also has these kind of two straps here if you want to strap. Uh, usually for these, I'll strap um, my Leatherman or uh, like a little LED torch. Um, and then it also has a belt strap or a waist strap. So uh, for this, I would typically attach my filter hive, my Mindship filter hive, which is uh, the pouch that I hold all my filters. Um, and that's it. It has a, um, a mesh uh, pocket on the side for a water bottle, if, uh, if you want that, on, actually on both sides. So uh, just be sure to stay hydrated. So be sure to check out Think Tank Photo's website. Uh, you can pre-order the uh, Perception Series bags. They should be shipping within the next few weeks. Uh, perfect gift for the holidays. And uh, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I invite you to check out my website. Uh, I post pretty daily there. And if you're looking for more uh, premium content, I welcome you to check out my Patreon page. I thank you so much in advance for the support. And I hope uh, you found this video useful. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.